I'm here with a delegation of constituents who've been asking candidates to sign the Sanctuary Pledge. We all have direct experience of working with adults and families in the asylum system. And we are very concerned that over a thousand children a year are held often only for the administrative convenience of the Home Office, for other reasons as well, but many are held only for the administrative convenience of the Home Office in our detention estate. I want to ask you this evening whether you all would agree to pledge to end the shame of child detention in this country. Your colleagues in South East Cairns and Cairns City have all, including UKIP and the Conservatives, agreed to sign our pledge. Would you do that this evening? Um, I'm sure you know that at Oakington, of course, um, we did at one time have children who were detained at Oakington. And one of my uh, objectives was to stop that practice. Um, it did stop at Oakington, but it has not stopped across the whole estate. Um, certainly from my point of view, I wish us to do that. As it happens, there is a commitment, the sanctuary pledge goes beyond that and actually says not to have detention at all in relation to those who wish to be removed from this country. That's not something I can say. The sanctuary pledge does not say that. To be absolutely clear, the sanctuary pledge does not say that. I have a copy with me and I will Well, we'll have a look at it afterwards, but as I understood it, it said it was about stopping the detention of adults and no, children. No, no. Children, only children. Only children. Fine. Well, I'll have a look at it afterwards. Brilliant. But that was certainly my intention at Oakington, that we, and we did achieve that at Oakington, if I have 30 seconds left. Can I, can I also say, I think it's very important, it's an illustration that sometimes in government, it's about just, it's not about changing the policy, it's about managing the policy properly. Mm -hmm. Because we agreed here, you know, locally, we. We accepted, I remember the, having, I had the conversation with Jack Straw, that we accepted that the barracks should be used as an immigration reception centre, um, that people who were claiming asylum, a refugee status, should come here, should have a decision made. If they were properly um, uh, refugees, they should then be looked after in this country, otherwise they should be removed. What happened? They came, decisions were made, 85% were refused, and they were just distributed around the country. You know, what the government, Labour government told us did not happen. And then they changed the status to a, to a detention centre and a removal centre without coming back and getting any kind of agreement from us about the change of status. Thank you. Um, anybody going to link to their fit to go next? Oh, there we go. We have a, have a keen, keen one. Uh, I'm always keen. <laughs> Doctor, and um, I, I've signed the sanctuary pledge, and it was um, it was quite a it was quite a sort of bitter moment for me because in this in this century, in this year, in this decade, that this country has children in prison is outrageous, mm -hmm. and there's really nothing more that can be said. There isn't actually an excuse for it at all, and to listen to politicians saying, oh yes, well, it's because. Mm -hmm. It's frankly just not good enough. There are ways of managing the situation that those families find themselves in, and it is not in a penal context. Full stop. system, um, I mean she wasn't an immigrant, she was just coming on a visit and she'd only been, she'd been twice before. Andrew uh, may have heard about this because I contacted his office and the PA there, his PA was extremely helpful, wrote a letter, uh, nothing was done um, and we had no appeal so although we did an injunction, tried to get her to, to, to be able to stay and be our guest for Christmas, 
she was sent back after a week. So very, uh, I, I think that people are... Sorry, I'm really going at the end. Very well, and, and, and on principle, yes, go, getting back to the thing, I will sign uh, on principle that children should not be detained. Thank you. It's distressing. Sorry. Yeah, um, uh, I think that sometimes there are situations when you have to perhaps disagree with your own government's policy, and I think this is one of those issues. Um, I do think it's a moral problem. Um, I don't think it's justifiable to keep children in, in, in detention. I've signed the sanctuary pledge. I think that within our culture, you've got to a situation where I think too many politicians um, jump at a Daily Mail headline. And you know, we're driven by what's in the 24-hour news media, and we're driven by inaccurate and uh, unfair characterizations and representations of vulnerable people who come to our country looking for sanctuary. And I think that's wrong. And I think sometimes, even at the risk of becoming unpopular, one should stand up for these issues, and I'm willing to do that. Um, I've always said that no politician should expect to be popular, because if you are, you're doing it wrong. Um, but I think, really, um, I would, if I was elected as the Member of Parliament South Cambridge, I would lobby to change my own government's policy on this issue. Thank you. Um, I've also signed the pledge, and I fully support the campaign. And I hope Andrew, you signed it. Um, I also just want to say at this point, because I'm not sure if last time climate change didn't come up at all, but it's an issue that's, that's relevant to this, because um, we find ourselves, I'm just going to give you a few figures just to put a perspective on this, that the International Red Cross in the 1970s, there were 275,000 refugees caused from environmental factors one way or another. In the 90s, that went up to 18 million. And the UN figures are suggesting in 2025, so less than 50, 40 years, it's 150 million. So there's an ever-increasing issue that we all need to think very carefully about. And this comes back to what I was saying about the perspective of the Green Party, about really looking at what we're doing planet-wide. Because these issues are planet-wide, and we need to start <coughs> considering how we're going to make serious changes now that won't make us a situation far worse than we find ourselves at the moment. So, thank you. It's all been said.